This country is too great for small visions. Trust me, being speaker is not an easy job, especially in this conference. But I've seen Jim spend his entire career fighting for freedom, no matter what, no matter the odds, and I know he is ready for the job. And so it is my honor to say, as a member of the Republican Conference, I am directed by the vote of that conference to present for the election to the office of Speaker of the House of Representatives the name of my friend, the Honorable Jim Jordan, a representative from the state of Ohio. I yield back. The chair now recognizes the gentlewoman from Massachusetts, Ms. Clark. We need a speaker who will govern through consensus, not conflict. We need a speaker worthy of wielding that gavel, a leader who will defend democracy, not degrade it. More than ever, we need proven, patriotic, people-first leadership. And that is why I am proud to nominate Hakeem Jeffries as Speaker of the House. The reading clerk will now call the roll. Adams. Jeffries. Adderholt. Jordan. Chu. Jeffries. Siskomani. Jordan. Chavez Dreamer. McHenry. Dingle. Jeffries. Jeffries. D'Esposito. Zeldin. Jayapal, Jeffries, Jeffries, Jeffries. Jordan, Jordan. Rutherford, Scalise. Scalise. The tellers agree in their tally that the total number of votes cast is 429, of which the Honorable Jim Jordan of the state of Ohio has received 194. The Honorable Hakeem Jeffries of the state of New York has received 210. Lee Zeldin of the State of New York has received four. The Honorable Steve Scalise of the State of Louisiana has received eight. The Honorable Mike Garcia of the State of California has received one. The Honorable Kevin McCarthy of the State of California has received two. The Honorable Bruce Westerman of the State of Arkansas has received one. No person having received a majority, the whole number of votes cast by surname, a speaker has not been elected. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the chair declares the House in recess, subject to the call of the chair.